En inglés se utiliza el presente simple para hablar de un hecho, una verdad o un estado, para hablar de acciones y actividades que se hacen de costumbre o por rutina, y para hablar de algo ya planeado que va a ocurrir en un futuro próximo. Los días son más cortos en invierno. The days are shorter in the winter. The days are shorter in the winter. The days are shorter in the winter. El agua hierve a 212 grados Fahrenheit. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. A mi papá le gustan las películas del oeste. My dad likes western movies. My dad likes western movies. My dad likes western movies. Tengo dos hermanas. I have two sisters. I have two sisters. I have two sisters. Te ves bien. You look nice. You look nice. You look nice. Creo que deberíamos irnos a casa. I think we should go home. I think we should go home. I think we should go home. Cultivamos verduras en nuestro jardín. We grow vegetables in our garden. We grow vegetables in our garden. We grow vegetables in our garden. Me encanta el olor de este jabón. I love the smell of this soap. I love the smell of this soap. I love the smell of this soap. Yo sé lo que quieres decir. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Él parece muy feliz. He seems very happy. He seems very happy. He seems very happy. Estos libros le pertenecen a Justin. These books belong to Justin. These books belong to Justin. These books belong to Justin. Ellos son dueños de su casa. They own their home. They own their home. They own their home. Ella tiene ojos azules. She has blue eyes. She has blue eyes. She has blue eyes. Escucho un ruido extraño. I hear a strange noise. I hear a strange noise. I hear a strange noise. Jack es una persona agradable. Jack is a likable person. Jack is a likable person. Jack is a likable person. La tienda está abierta de nueve a cinco. The store is open from nine to five. The store is open from nine to five. The store is open from nine to five. Me parece difícil de creer. I find that hard to believe. I find that hard to believe. I find that hard to believe. Él habla alemán. 
He speaks German. He speaks German. He speaks German. Ese precio incluye impuestos. That price includes taxes. That price includes taxes. That price includes taxes. Estas galletas saben bien. These cookies taste good. These cookies taste good. These cookies taste good. Me siento enfermo. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. Prefiero un color más claro. I prefer a lighter color. I prefer a lighter color. I prefer a lighter color. Este sofá es cómodo. This couch is comfortable. This couch is comfortable. This couch is comfortable. Se usa el presente simple para hablar de actividades o acciones que se hacen de costumbre o por rutina. A veces es necesario calificar estas frases con adverbios de tiempo, como every day, always, usually, on weekends. Los niños toman el bus a la escuela cada mañana. The kids take the bus to school every morning. The kids take the bus to school every morning. The kids take the bus to school every morning. Él suele levantarse antes de las ocho. He usually gets up before eight o'clock. He usually gets up before eight o'clock. He usually gets up before eight o'clock. Llevo a mi perro al parque todos los días. I take my dog to the park every day. I take my dog to the park every day. I take my dog to the park every day. Limpiamos la casa a presión dos veces al año. We pressure clean the house twice a year. We pressure clean the house twice a year. We pressure clean the house twice a year. Madison siempre deja las llaves sobre la mesa. Madison always leaves the keys on the table. Madison always leaves the keys on the table. Madison always leaves the keys on the table. Usualmente hago el lavado de ropa los sábados. I usually do laundry on Saturdays. I usually do laundry on Saturdays. I usually do laundry on Saturdays. A menudo Lucas y yo jugamos al ajedrez. Lucas and I often play chess. Lucas and I often play chess. Lucas and I often play chess. Normalmente salgo para el trabajo a las siete y media. Normally I leave for work at 7.30. Normally I leave for work at 7.30. Normally I leave for work at 7.30. Un autobús pasa cada hora. A bus goes by hourly. A bus goes by hourly. A bus goes by hourly. Pagamos nuestros impuestos anualmente. We pay our taxes annually. We pay our taxes annually. We pay our taxes annually. Nos pagan los viernes. 
We get paid on Fridays. We get paid on Fridays. We get paid on Fridays. Lo veo con frecuencia en el gimnasio. I see him frequently at the gym. I see him frequently at the gym. I see him frequently at the gym. Rara vez trabajo horas extras. I seldom work overtime. I seldom work overtime. I seldom work overtime. Todos los veranos vamos al lago. Every summer we go to the lake. Every summer we go to the lake. Every summer we go to the lake. Siempre se olvida de apagar la luz. He always forgets to turn off the light. He always forgets to turn off the light. He always forgets to turn off the light. Ella solo compra ropa cuando está en oferta. She only buys clothes when they are on sale. She only buys clothes when they are on sale. She only buys clothes when they are on sale. Siempre llamo a mi madre los domingos. I always call my mother on Sundays. I always call my mother on Sundays. I always call my mother on Sundays. De vez en cuando él come verduras. He occasionally eats vegetables. He occasionally eats vegetables. He occasionally eats vegetables. A veces damos largos paseos. Sometimes we go for long walks. Sometimes we go for long walks. Sometimes we go for long walks. La junta escolar se reúne regularmente. The school board meets regularly. The school board meets regularly. The school board meets regularly. Voy de compras los fines de semana. I go shopping on weekends. I go shopping on weekends. I go shopping on weekends. No se usa el presente simple en inglés para hablar de una actividad o acción que está pasando en el mismo instante en que se está hablando. Para esto se usa el presente continuo. Entonces, para decir, voy de compras, con el sentido de que ahora mismo estoy yendo de compras, en inglés tenemos que decir, I'm going shopping. Se puede usar el presente simple para hablar de algo ya programado. Pero es necesario incluir alguna expresión que indica futuro, como tomorrow, next week. Tonight, on Friday. Salimos para Francia el domingo. We leave for France on Sunday. We leave for France on Sunday. We leave for France on Sunday. Brian llega este fin de semana. Brian arrives this weekend. Brian arrives this weekend. Brian arrives this weekend. Empiezo mi nuevo trabajo el lunes. I start my new job on Monday. I start my new job on Monday. I start my new job on Monday. Nos graduamos en junio. We graduate in June. We graduate in June. We graduate in June. 
El avión despega en diez minutos. The plane takes off in ten minutes. The plane takes off in ten minutes. The plane takes off in ten minutes. La escuela empieza pasado mañana. School starts the day after tomorrow. School starts the day after tomorrow. School starts the day after tomorrow. La película empieza en media hora. The movie starts in half an hour. The movie starts in half an hour. The movie starts in half an hour. Nuestro vuelo aborda a las once y cuarto. Our flight boards at 11.15. Our flight boards at 11.15. Our flight boards at 11.15. El restaurante abre a las cuatro de la tarde. The restaurant opens at 4 p.m. The restaurant opens at 4 p.m. The restaurant opens at 4 p.m. Tengo un examen a las dos en punto. I have an exam at two o'clock. I have an exam at two o'clock. I have an exam at two o'clock. Mi pasaporte vence el próximo mes. My passport expires next month. My passport expires next month. My passport expires next month. Las rebajas terminan mañana. The sale ends tomorrow. The sale ends tomorrow. The sale ends tomorrow. Vuelo a Vancouver el sábado. I fly to Vancouver on Saturday. I fly to Vancouver on Saturday. I fly to Vancouver on Saturday. Trabajo de noche la próxima semana. I work nights next week. I work nights next week. I work nights next week. Entreguen los muebles el jueves. They deliver the furniture on Thursday. They deliver the furniture on Thursday. They deliver the furniture on Thursday. El nuevo año escolar comienza en agosto. The new school year begins in August. The new school year begins in August. The new school year begins in August.